WLKY weather with Matt Milosevic. Right around sunrise, we saw a little bit of sunshine, and the cloud cover moved in from the south and west. And well, skies have been mostly cloudy to even overcast since then. That's going to limit our warming trend into the afternoon, and well, limit the thawing of the snow and the ice on the ground as well. But we do have a clear shot across the Ohio River from Jeffersonville. Visibility is looking good, and no additional rain, sleet, or snow expected today. Temperature staying chilly though. 33 at Louisville International and at Bowman Field. Breezes are calm, so no extra added wind chill. That chill factor feels exactly like the actual temperature, so a little bit of relief in that department. After morning starts in the teens and 20s, even bottomed out around 11 in Campbellsville this morning, you're up to 30. So temperatures have come up just a little bit, but still upper 20s in Elizabethtown at 29 and low 30s elsewhere, well below normal once again for this time of year. Here's the Doppler network showing that clean sweep, even though skies are mostly cloudy, not dealing with the rain, sleet, or snow. We will watch a storm system to our south and another to our northwest. But overall, minimal impacts from both of those systems in our area. But we'll hash out what we are going to see, and that's a continuation of more clouds and sunshine through the afternoon and highs in the 30s. As we head into tonight, we'll watch a few snow showers try to sneak into the far southern sections of the viewing area, mainly south of the Bluegrass Parkway and also along the Cumberland Parkway this uh, evening. As you head closer to the Tennessee border, winter weather advisories are in effect. They could pick up an inch or so of snow there. It includes a dare count. County, but I think for the WLKY viewing area, a dusting at best as we head tonight and also into tomorrow because that second system to the northwest is going to be moving on in with another shot of cold Arctic air headed our way. And in that colder air, especially tomorrow afternoon, a few flurries and snow showers will be possible and temperatures continue to dip once again. You can see those systems easily, one moving out of East Texas into Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi with some snow in places that don't normally see it, accumulating snow through southern Arkansas, northern Mississippi. Winter storm warnings also in effect for portions of Birmingham and northern Alabama and over towards Atlanta, Georgia. That second system cruising out of the northern plains in the upper Midwest, that's going to sweep on in, and our temperatures once again for the end of the week go down. You can see the colder air, 6 in Fargo, 22 in Chicago. So the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the northern plains continue to run very chilly, and we'll see that cold air spill back in. Even colder than what we already are, which is continuing well below normal at 38 degrees for our afternoon high. We'll watch for a little bit of that light snow in the far southern parts of the viewing area. Temperatures around 33 by 10 o'clock, and then turning colder again. Tomorrow morning, we start out at 23 degrees. But our rise in the afternoon, not too much at 29. A 40% chance of some often on snow showers and flurries through the day in that colder air on your Thursday. We're 12 Friday morning, 23 Friday afternoon, 30s on Saturday. We do get milder, 40 Sunday, Monday, even 50 on Tuesday. But as temperatures increase, so do the chances of rain, especially on Tuesday. That'll be our best chance of the wet weather, but at least nice to trade in the snow shovels for the umbrellas.